Hello everyone, in this video we're going to go through the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 version 22H2. A clean installation is a process that deletes everything on the hard drive and install a fresh copy of Windows 11. This will not only help to avoid upgrade issues, but you will be starting with a new installation which can improve system performance and fix existing problems. If you're going to use this option, it is always recommended to create a full backup before proceeding. You can check the video description below to find the link to the video with the steps to do a full backup and additional information including the release date for this particular update when it becomes available. In this tutorial, I will be using the media creation tool to create a USB media to install the Windows 11 version 22H2. Also, this instruction will work for devices running Windows 11 as well as those devices running Windows 10. However, you will need to make sure that your computer meets the minimal requirements to install version 22H2 if you're planning to upgrade a Windows 10 computer. To start, you need to download the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website. You can find the link in the video description below. Just remember that if you download the tool before the new version is available, you will not install the new version. So. Once the new version of Windows 11 becomes available on this page under the Create Windows 11 Installation Media, click the Download Now button and save the file to the computer. After the file downloaded, you can open from File Explorer or from the Download section on the web browser. Then click the Set button. Then we're going to use the recommended settings. Now, if you're using a different language and that's not selected right here, make sure to clear this option and select the language that you need. And addition, you, have, you only have one option, so you don't have to change that. And then click next. We're going to create a USB flash drive. So that's where we're going to select right here. And at this time, it's a good idea to make sure that you have connected a USB flash drive of at least 8 gigabytes of storage to the computer. And remember that any data that's on that drive is going to be deleted. So if you have anything important, it's recommended to back it up to a different location and then click next. Now select the USB flash drive from the list. If you don't see the USB on this list, click the refresh drive list option right here. Make sure to select the right drive and then click next and now the tool is going to download the files for Windows 11 version 22 H2 and it's going to create a bootable media with the USB that you connected to the computer this can take some time depending on your internet connection once the USB has been created click finished and keep the USB connected to the computer and then restart the system. Also, you have to make sure that your PC can boot from USB. Usually, to boot your computer from USB, you need to change the BIOS settings, which is pretty much different on every device. So make sure to check your device manufacturer for more details. Usually, you can access these settings by pressing one of the functions, delete or escape keys on the keyboard during boot. After restarting the computer with the bootable media in the Windows Setup, click Next. And now click the Install Now button. If Windows 11 was already installed and properly activated, you don't need to enter the product key. After the installation, Windows 11 will automatically reactivate. So on this page, click the I don't have a product key option. Then select the edition of Windows that you have previously installed on the computer and then click Next. We're going to accept the terms and then we're going to click next. In here, we're going to be using the custom option because we're going to do a clean installation of Windows 11 version 22H2. If you have multiple partitions on the drive, you want to select each of them and you want to delete the partitions. If you have a secondary drive where you have data on it, you don't need to delete those. You only need to delete the partitions on the drive that you want to install Windows 11. Then select the drive where you want to install Windows 11 version 22H2 and click Next.
And now we're going to finish the setup by selecting the initial preferences and creating a new account. And here, select your region and click yes. Then select your keyboard layout and click yes. If you need to add a second keyboard layout, click the add layout option or click the skip button to continue. You can skip this option, but it is a good idea to set a name for the device. And then click next. Now select how would you like to set up the computer. And on this case, we're going to be using the setup for personal use. But this option is only available if you're using Windows 11 Pro. If you have Windows 11 Home, you won't see this option. And then click Next. One aspect of the initial setup that has changed on version 22H2 is that you now need a Microsoft account and an internet connection to finish the setup. So this screen, it's new to version 22H2. So to create an account, click the sign in button. To create a Windows 11 account, confirm your Microsoft account and then click the next button. I have my account configured with the Microsoft Authenticator, so that's what I'm going to use to authenticate the account. The initial setup of Windows 11 lets you restore some of your previous settings, preferences and applications that were acquired from the Microsoft Store. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to select the setup as new device option and then click next. We're going to create a pen. And then we're going to click OK to continue. Here you can choose your privacy settings. Anything that you don't like, you can turn off. And then click the asset button to continue. The initial setup of Windows 11 also lets you customize your experience so you can tell Windows how you're going to be using your computer so the system will personalize tips, ads, and other recommendations. But you can always skip this option. If you have an Android phone, you can link it to your computer, but that's something that you can always do later. So you can so we're going to click the skip option. If you use OneDrive to back up your files you can click next and all your desktop documents folder will allow to onedrive but if you want to keep your files on your device click only save to this pc option during the initial setup windows 11 will also give you an option to install the office apps if you don't have a subscription just click the decline button and in here, we're just going to skip the option to get the PC Game Pass from Microsoft. And that's it. That's how you do a clean installation of Windows 11 version 22H2 on your computer. You can quickly check the version that you're running, open in start and then go into settings and then on system, open the about page and on Windows specifications, you're going to see that the version is 22H2. You can also look for the run command and type the winver command and click OK and you will see that version is also 22H2. Remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.